My name is Dave Beck, and I'm... Uh, Hello. Um, this is uh, a beautiful morning on May 7th, 2017, and we're on the way to the Parlesboro Wharf in the Bay of Fundy, the Minas Basin. This is as close to the Atlantic Ocean as, as we can get, but it is the Atlantic Ocean. And today is the Battle of the Atlantic Commemoration Day, the longest battle in the Second World War. And we're wearing our Sherwinigan hats, and we're bringing a wreath down uh, to lay for all the the seamen that uh, that fought in the, the Battle of the Atlantic on both sides, and the merchant mariners who risked their lives supplying Mother England during that uh, horrible time. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Uh, even though the uh, the Prowlsboro Legion uh, decided that they would move the uh, ceremony indoors this morning because of possible inclement weather, and uh, it turned out to be a beautiful morning. So we are approaching the wharf, and uh, we're going to, uh, like I said, we're going to honor all the all the, the the naval personnel that fought in the Battle of the Atlantic, but we're uh, specifically here to, uh, to help uh, a great Canadian who uh, passed away on January 28th of this year, uh, able seaman Thomas Joseph Simpson, DSM, who's 95 years old, who was uh, probably the greatest radar operator that uh, the country produced in that time. Uh, he, uh, he was responsible for sinking the German U-boat 1305 in the, the Irish Sea where he uh, earned his DSM. He was single-handedly responsible for saving hundreds if not thousands of men's lives that night. And their, their descendants live on today thanks to uh, that great man. So we're gonna honor him. And uh, I'd like to read the, the medals that he held. He was a holder of the Italy Star, the France Star, the Germany Star with Atlantic Star Bar, the 1939 to 45 star, the 1939 to 1945 war medal, the Canadian Volunteer Service Medal with CVSM clasp, General Service Badge, the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal, and one of only 116 Canadians to receive the Dis Distinguished Service Medal in the Second World War. We're also gonna think of his good friends, guys like Casey McKenzie, who he loved to serve with. And for those boys, all the boy, all the boys out there that never came back, today's an easy day, guys. It's a beautiful day. The captain's below quarters with a head cold, and the XO has a hangover and can't do anything about it. There's extra rum tots and cigarettes for everybody. So we're gonna we're gonna lay the wreath now. His daughter Janet Simpson. And her, our beautiful little dog Ellie. We're gonna honor all those, all those great Canadians. Great. I, like, I, I think I, I just wanted to say that um, it's just a pretty special day. Um, normally, my father would uh, end the Battle of the Atlantic ceremony. He always uh, said to me, you know, Janet, um, he, he was proud because I was one of the family members along with my my nephew Ronnie Simpson who is now in South Korea has followed my father's path and documented it and recorded and um, supported my father's legacy um, he was also in the Navy and so today it's a little, somewhat somber only because my father passed in, in January and he doesn't know that I'm doing this but... we think he does yeah, so Day. I participated at the Legion, and I was grateful to do that. I really uh, wanted to take the reef and to honor um, all the fallen soldiers, sailors, that had died during the Battle of the Atlantic. And all those that served in it and survived and brought the legacy and, uh, and, 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 and lived the great lives that they lived and inspired other Canadians. So, 
we're going to get the wreath. And we're going to go out and we're going to lay the wreath into the bay. It's a little windy, but... Uh, whoops. It's a little windy, but for men that served in the North Atlantic, I think that would be a bit of a joke. Hang on, Ellie? Ellie, come. Come. Do you have the wreath? It's a little windy, and hopefully the sound will be good here. Ellie, come. Okay, Ellie, you can leave, like, make your letter go. I can't hold both. Ellie, come. It's okay, she won't come off the edge. It's a little windy, but it is a beautiful day. And there's a, a beautiful lady with her. Yeah, it is a little windy, but uh, nothing compared to the conditions that those guys had to go through. Not even close. The tide is up high. Okay. And we're going to uh, we're gonna get another nice look at Janet and Nelly here. And then we're going to see if, uh, if some other people show up. Because, uh, like I said, just because the Legion said it's a no-go doesn't mean we will. So I'm going to stop this now